Matt, good morning. This is just a giant deal, uh, just in relative size, more than a third of your market cap, if I'm reading it correctly. And, and Infi specializes in data center broadband, moving massive amounts of data quickly inside data centers, uh, between data centers. Why is this so important to do right now? Yeah, good morning, John. It's great to see you. And we're very excited. And, and you're right, Infi is the leading company in interconnect technology, both inside the data center and to your point, as well as connecting data centers worldwide. They also have a very strong and growing position in 5G for, um, for what's called backhaul and midhaul and front haul connectivity. And if you look at the combined company uh, revenue of, of Infi, about 70% of their revenue actually comes from both cloud infrastructure as well as, the, as 5G. And John, as you know, that's very consistent with Marvell's strategy in terms of our market focus. Now, uh, as we saw from Intel's results and some others, cloud companies are still buying uh, infrastructure, but there's been downward pressure on a lot of the pricing. At the same time, though, uh, Infi's got this pulse amplitude modulation technology that uh, it, it's pushing cutting edge, you know, along with optical, allowing to move a lot more data, uh, a lot more quickly. Is your sense that you can get not only continued and growing revenue, but also better margins from the cloud giants with this kind of technology? Right, well, you nailed it, John. First of all, this transition in, in optics and moving to this new modulation technique, which is called pulse amplitude modulation or PAM, is uh, it's, it's a once in a generation type of transition that's, that's happening. And that's being driven by the cloud players specifically and Infi has a leadership position there. Um, their business is extremely strong. Uh, their most recent quarter, which they announced this morning, their revenues were up 92% year over year. And if you look out to next quarter, which they also guided, that would imply another 80% up year over year. This company has been growing about 40% a year. They have a very strong outlook as well for calendar 21. And that's really on the back of exactly what you said, which is this very strong demand in build out in the cloud. And in particular, the optics that connect all of the um, key pieces of equipment in the data center, it's a key item in terms of how the data center is architected and, and, and defines the overall throughput of the data center. In terms of margins and profitability, it's a, it's a, it's a premier company in the semiconductor industry. It's not, it's not uh, normally a household name, but in the chip industry, it's one of the highest regarded companies in our space. Uh, gross margins are in the mid 60s, uh, which is accretive to Marvell. It's also, the steel is going to be accretive to us. Mm -hmm. in operating margins and in revenue growth and so it, it, and and earnings by the way so it ticks the box on all four fronts and adds some very unique special capability to us shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube